A Day in the Life of an Atlantean Citizen Education As it is promised in the Atlantean Constitutions, education of a newborn in the telepathic methods of the order of death may begin no sooner than nine months following its conception, which we in the P.O.D. uphold to be the moment of the coming into being or creation of consciousness, self-aware life. However, because the citizens of Atlantis are mind beings only, without any form of body, it follows thus there cannot be such a thing as intellectual property rights, because the offspring of mind beings are ideas. New ideas become more complex systems of mental patterns until they form a fully functioning self-aware mind of their own. Thus, intellectual offspring, or ideas of any mind being, cannot be considered a good or service that can be commodified and owned. No more so is the child the slave of the parent than is any idea solely the product of its creator's own mind. The primary capstone of the order's telepathic education method is the philosophical goal of eradicating intellectual property rights on the grounds that all we can do is discover new truths within and about our reality that we all share. These truths, that are all we can hold in our own minds while we continue to be alive, were here before us, will be here after us, and are parts of the permanent invisible landscape. Our own minds are merely like netting through which the universal mind's thoughts pass like clouds. There is no pride over ownership, only recognition for a new discovery. All citizens of Atlantis up to and including the Pope of the Lemurian Church Bank are considered as like mere children beside God. Thus, all those who have entered paradise have come into it as like children, and so no one is exempt from learning more at any time. Even a newborn can teach and reveal much to even the oldest and most popular of popes.